Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're back with another BKFC Reddit Ask Me Anything, but we're doing something special. We're catching up with Tommy the Farmer Stridum after his big win in o uh, Oklahoma, Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say your last name? Like, I always say Stridum, but I've heard Str yeah. Stridum. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just how they announce it. It is Stridum. That's correct. Okay, straight. So, Stridum or Stratum? Stratum. Stratum. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I feel like the key to your victory was me. Like, I feel like you didn't really do much. It was all me, like, in the corner yeah, telling well, you. Shit. Yeah, you know it. If you know it, you know it. It is what it is. <laughs> I, you know, like, it was, it was, I was excited to do it. And then when they said, we're going to give you a, a UFC veteran and he's going to help too. So it was great. I let him talk to you for the first, like, 30 seconds. And I talked to you the second 30 seconds. I feel like we both had good stuff to talk about. I kept you iced down and stuff like that. You know, G was keeping you with, from not getting cut. I mean, we, we did a great job. I think we did very well. Um, I'm going to be honest. There's no marks. Got a little bit of two blue eyes. Feel like a yeah. raccoon. But otherwise, uh, ready to rock and roll again. Body stiffness, everything is gone. The first is, uh, my first is a bit still touchy. But otherwise than that, I'm good. So the one thing I noticed, like, afterwards we're walking around, people want to shake your hand like an asshole. They want to shake your hand hard. And it's like, guys, he just got out of a fight. Be gentle. You know, like, you don't have to shake it like a sissy lala, but don't try to squeeze his poor hand. Yeah, that's – that. I even get it still this side. You know, when I greet people, people forget about their two thoughts and everything, and then they're like, how are you doing? Yeah. So yeah, that's 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 a shit part, but you gotta man up, man up, take the punch. So is your phone still going off the hook from from people from South Africa? When we were in the back, like your phone didn't stop vibrating and ringing the whole time that we were back there. Actually, like. I promise you, I had like over five hundred messages on my Facebook and likes um, and stuff like that. It was insane. One of my favorite parts is where we're back there, we're sitting in the back, and some guy comes on and he goes, Tell Tommy he just made me a whole bunch of money. And so I yeah. told him. And then and then you said, Well, tell him to send me some money. And he said, Well, I'm not gonna send you money, but I'll send you some C B D products because I guess he owns a <laughs> CBD store. Yeah, I remember you told me that was funny. I I well, I enjoyed it and I I actually appreciate the fact that he bid on me. That's the that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah, you were like, uh, you were the key, key. Like, I think he had three bets, and your fight won him those three bets. Like, so yeah, wonder, you were. I don't even know what my um, what do you call it? Uh, what the odds you, were? You know, you were what the was favorite the going in, but I don't like. I don't know. You were a favorite well, though. I didn't feel like that when I walked out. I I could uh I could yeah. hear, but. Luckily, I shut myself off from the crowd outside and I do my work inside the ring. It's funny you say that because like when we were in there, a couple times, like you would hit him with a big shot or he'd hit you with a big shot and you'd hear the roar of the crowd. But most of the time, I would tune everybody out and I could hear you landing a punch and, you know, like in a, you're talking. Like it's crazy how you can tune thousands of people out and just hear what you want to hear. That's the thing. It's That's the thing that you... I think with the years of fighting experience, you learn to cut everything out. I'll, I'll never forget my first fight ever fighting for a title back in South Africa. Uh, it was a pro amateur title, um, just before I turned pro even. And I was fighting at the mall. It was a mall event. Nice. And I got in the ring and I was more worried about the crowd than the actual fight. You know, what did they think about this shot? What did they think about this shot? Do you, do you look good? Do you, you know, sure. at, the, at the end of the end, you just lose the fight because you're worried about the people outside instead of doing your work. Okay, so you told me you watched the fight for the first time yesterday. I watched it when we came back on uh, Sunday or Saturday night. When it, I, I don't remember because, like, literally we we were up for almost 36 hours we we drove there stayed yeah. awake and then drove back the next night or the, like, really right after the fight i really appreciate you for that 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 means a lot to me yeah a he, yeah i don't think people or yourself will ever understand that 
Well, I appreciate you like let me like I always wanted to know how the sausage was made and like being able to go back there and see everything and you know putting us in that little room and getting psyched up and like I mean, I, I always was curious about all that shit because you don't really know what's going on and now I get to experience. I feel like it's going to help me so much when I talk to you guys. How did you find the experience of that? I was kind of nervous. Like I felt like you were going to do great, but I was kind of nervous because like. It's the unknown. Like, all it takes is him catching you with one little glancing thing and he splits you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I had complete con you know, confidence in your ability, but, like, all it takes is one lucky little... Punch. One lucky little cut. You correct. Yep. That's 100%. Yeah. The one thing that I was kind of blown away with is watching how fast they... Like, his face after the first round was swollen up. And then the, the cut man did a great job on his side, like, you know, putting all the swelling away because I was they like, did. oh, dude, they're... Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the cuts underneath his eye and then that hump on the head. Yeah. Um there's one there's one replay that was that I usually well that I over and over watch and that was when uh when I, I was gonna say uh, when uh, I knocked him with that left hook because shit oh. that came so fast I couldn't believe it was so fast. It was slip, slip, bob and weave, boom. The crazy part though is I saw you practicing that in the back, you know, like in that, that yeah. jumping in hook and like and then you caught him with it and it put him on his ass. That was that was cool. Yeah, no, I, I well that was that was a, a money shot. Well, luckily he stood up for his side, not for me. So I'm gonna say this about him, like way tougher than I thought he was gonna be. Like, congratulations yeah. on being sober. You and I thought, all right, we're gonna get this guy out in the first round. Holy crap like he was like he was like the undertaker he just kept sitting up and like getting up and like i like he wouldn't stop i couldn't understand what was going on no he was he was tough as nails i, I must say take my hat off for him much respect that was that was awesome you know but i'm very glad i went five rounds to be yeah. honest because now i know what five rounds is if we go to a championship or whatever you know because championships doesn't always just end in first to one or one or two rounds sure well, so, you look at the champion now, Kai, most of his fights go to decision. I mean, he grinds you down and he, a lot of people say he doesn't have that knockout power, but I mean, he, he, he controls you for five rounds. So he's got, the, the he's got that knockout power. He controls you for five rounds if he can. Yes. But yeah. knockout power, you know, I've watched his fight moving in, you know, he likes to get into the clinch and work from there. Sure. And, uh, that, that will be a mistake. Okay, so let's talk championship. You're three and zero. Oh, like you want you want a top five guy or a top three guy. Like, how do you see this fight between Kai and Duran going? Um, well, I was I was rooting for for Duran, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's very difficult. You know, I think I think if Duran fights right, it will be good. But the thing is, uh, Kai is very clever. I think he tries and break you down on fitness. Sure. And then from there, you know, every time he moves in, on, on his way out, he scores his punches, you know, then mm -hmm. he gets points. So I think if, if uh, uh, Duran comes in, you know, he's more of an aggressive fighter sure. than what Kai is. Um, I think I'm still rooting Duran from my side. That's how I feel. I've, I've started rooting for him since the beginning, and I'll stick by my decision. If I'm being honest, like when I first saw Duran, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this guy, but like watching him progress and like, and, and seeing him grow as a man, like I really like him now. I like him a whole lot and talking to him. I like both guys. I'm definitely not going to pick. I yeah, will say, right. I, I will say Kai wins if, if he grinds it out the whole time, Duran wins if he catches him. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like yeah. that's, if, if Duran doesn't knock him out, I feel like Kai takes the decision. Yeah. I think when it comes to points, Kai's a little bit more clever than uh, going for a knockout. I doubt Kai's got that power for a knockout punch. I've seen his fights. I've watched him. Um, he's not a bad fighter, good fighter, much respect still for where he is, but uh, I don't think he's got that knockout power. Not at all. And so the, 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 another thing is his fitness. Remember, the fitter you are, the more punches you can take. It doesn't matter how hard it is. You can, you can receive. 
so you had almost a year off. Did you notice any ring rust or did your was your fitness where you wanted it? Or like, will this help you that you've you got to fight? Even and you want though to be I got a knock, uh, well, those knockouts against uh, Cody Land and Josh Kirsch, Frisch, the thing is, right. uh, I, st I still feel I fought better in this first two rounds than even that I fought against them. Sure. Definitely. I've watched the first two rounds. It was great. Third round started slacking. Fourth round, I must be honest, I had I had uh, um, uh, Corey on the fourth round. I, I, I feel he had that round. But then the fifth round came, as sad as you are, you know, I was just praying and telling myself, push through. Jesus, help me. We've got to do this. And I've landed most of the punches in the fifth as well. I could see I could see someone's argument that maybe he had three and four, but I thought you had one, two for sure with the knockdowns, and I thought you had five, you finished strong. So I like yeah. no matter what, I feel like you won. Yeah, no, definitely. Once the fight was over, I just knew in my heart it's ours. There was no hesitating standing there or anything. I knew I've done most of the work. What's it like? I know you are like pretty good friends with Cyrus. So like Cyrus comes in the ring and interviews you and you give a shout out to all of South, uh, South Africa. I mean, like it, it's gotta be cool. Cause I know he does a lot of stuff with South Africa, right? He used to like do the, the commentary for the yeah, he EFC. Used to do EFC and stuff like that. And, uh, he was well with my, Sorry, someone tried to phone me there. You're uh, good. Don't worry about. It. Nope. Yeah. So good. yeah, um, he was very excited after this fight, and I remember with Cody Land, he was very excited as well. And I think I surprised quite a lot of people on this fight uh, to prove myself going on five rounds, even though we aimed for one or two rounds max. Sure. And uh, then we stick through. And I promise, you know, every time we broke up, it was into that brawl, into that fight all the time. The one thing that kind of stuck out to me was every time you'd get punched in the face, you would smile at this guy and you'd come right back at him. Like you're, you're a savage. Yeah, no, um, I, I, I'm just a guy. I don't give up. I, I don't give up. There's no way I'll take a knee. They're going to have to pull out big guns to push me down. That's, that's just the honest thing. That's it is what it is. I don't give up for shit. I, I think it's insane that you went to work the next day after your fight. Like, I, I just think that's crazy. Yeah, well, like I said, and even like the roads, you know, there's planting to be done. There's work to be done. And um, I must say, like uh, my boss said, he really respects me and uh, he appreciates the help and that I don't just go home and rest for one, two, three days. You know, life sure. goes on. You got you to gotta stay busy. Okay, so, I mean, Louis probably going to be on the show for a little bit because he had that KO loss. I don't know. He's not going to be able to fight for a little bit. Yeah. So, top five, top three guys. I mean, I know you want to fight the champion, you know, but, I mean, if, if that was the case, you're looking probably at the end of the year. So, if you're looking yeah. at staying a little more active, who would you like to fight? Well, I don't know who is on the top five at the very moment. Um, you see, I, I want a top five. You know, a top yeah. five fight, you know, I, I feel and I know in my heart I belong there. I've proved it to them. And uh, like I said as well, you know, when it comes to the championship, that's what I want. I'm here to achieve. I'm not here to just stay on one level. Sure. You need to move forward. And uh, how do you move forward? By not just staying active, but you need to fight better people, uh, people on, on, on the ranking. Cool. All right. Well, is there anything, I mean, how did I do? Like, give me your honest opinion. I, you, I know you're being nice, but like, give me, like, I, I want to corner you again. So you got to give me, like, give me some pointers. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? No, I critique you haven't me. done anything wrong. You know, like you saw when I was in the back, you know, I've, I'm in my own world. I'm in my own space. I focus, yeah. I walk up and down, uh, listening to uh, my music and, you know, getting my head ready for the farts and everything. Sure. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think, to be honest, there's nothing that you've done wrong. There's nothing that I can think of, you know. When I came to the corner, you told me, you know, check for this, check for that. And then uh, um, Derek as well told me, and 
we work from there. It's, <clears throat> it's just how it is, you know. There's nothing more you can do than what you have done. Just sure. being there and watching the fight goes and telling me what mistakes he does, telling me what to maybe work on from certain angles, certain views. There's nothing more you can do and give the father that's just he needs to listen and do the work sure what is it so you train yourself does that make it so much harder i mean you see all these other people and they have big camps like you legit only have yourself is it hard for you to push yourself and say like oh, i need a i need to run that extra mile or, or do that or like you just like, it's in you so you do it anyway the prepping was was uh, wasn't tough it was the, the the tough part was the early mornings you know i got up at three to be at gym at three thirty, and then when we started planting and rain started catching on us, then I had to stand up at uh, two thirty to be at gym at three o'clock. That was my last two weeks, wow. and um, that was the tough part: the st standing up early and then go train and then working late. But at the end, you know, if you feel like doing something and your heart is in there and you believe, then you'll do it. Then you don't just back off. So that was the hard part. The eating part and the rest of it was fine. The focusing part and the fitness wasn't that bad as well. It was it was good. I'm not, at least I had my own gyms back in South Africa, so I know how to push myself. And uh, I've been with a few trainers before and everything. And uh, yeah, you know, I just have that heart of a lion to push myself towards the top level. Okay, so you were telling me that back back home in South Africa, you have a very funny fight nickname. What, what what's your fighter nickname over in South Africa? I never had one. It was Tommy Stratum. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, I was like, you're not a farmer back home. I was like, when the hell did you become the farmer? And you said, well, BKFC made me the farmer. Yeah, that's a hundred percent correct. They they made it. I earned it as they gave it to me, and that's how I actually. Um. I believe a fighter needs to deserve his name. People need to give him his name instead of making yourself Tommy the shotgun or whatever. And that, but, you know, sure. it just doesn't make sense. Do you see my, my newest souvenir right back here? Your, yeah, uh, I see it. You should have let me sign it before you left. Well, come visit me and you can sign it when you get up here. Ding, ding. <laughs> okay, so... I mean, I got nothing else for you. Like, I loved it. I appreciate you so much. I, I I would love to see if BKFC lets you get out of Nebraska. Like, go go showcase Tommy the Farmer somewhere else. Like, put you in hostile territory. Put you in somebody else's backyard and let you be the underdog. And oh, yeah. Go show off. That'd be definitely. awesome. No, definitely. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'd like to give a shout out once you're done as well. Please so, do. Go ahead. Yeah. So, I want to say... Uh, uh, Good luck to Kai and to Duran, and uh, hope the best guy wins. And uh, just go do what you love. Just another day at, in the office. And uh, remember one thing, guys: whoever takes the title, I'm coming for you. I don't, I don't give up. I'm coming for you, and just be ready. Awesome. Is there anybody else you want to give a shout out to before we end? No, just basically my supporters and my loved ones, mom, my son, and uh, all my sponsors. Um, everybody has been backing me from day one and from my whole prepping. They they went through with me and they supported me and everything. And all the support and love I got back from South Africa and even down on this side, it means a lot to me. And uh, again, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are uh Deep here in my heart. And uh, yes, I love you guys to bits. All right, man. We'll keep uh, keep training and everything going good for you. And I like I so, I you gotta think they're gonna have you back in the ring sooner than later. Three and zero at one forty five. They gotta they gotta they everybody wants to see the farmer. There we go. No, I'm ready to rock and roll, like I say. All right, have a great night, sir. Thank you. You too. God bless. See you. Thanks, eh?